said it's a street game. It's a street game. But you gotta bring the street game to the, to the court. Together, one, two, three. Yeah. Yeah. guys play. Being a former player myself, you know, I know what it's like to constantly look over your shoulders. Brooklyn is survival of the fittest. It just has so much in front of you that it consumes you and families and people and you just have to prioritize you know, what's important. It's an unbelievable atmosphere because there's just so much going on that you have to deal with every single day. This is the Cooper Park Project. We call it the Cooper Park Houses here in Greenpoint, Williamsburg, Brooklyn. The Cooper Park Housing Projects is a conglomeration of about 12, 13 buildings, high-rise buildings that are seven stories high, and on each floor, I think it's uh, seven families. Seven families live on each floor. Uh, we live right up here. Three bedrooms, one bathroom, with eight kids. And, uh, you know, it was a... Uh, it was, you, you grew up quick. You learned quick and you grew up quick. And we went to a Catholic grade school, St. Cecilia's. My six brothers and my sister. So all eight of us ended up going to uh, grammar school. And uh, uh, most of us eventually played basketball and used basketball to, as, a, as a means of, uh, of gaining an education. Not only in the classroom, but on the court and uh, in this environment. It was a tremendous education. It was a great place to grow up, great place to learn. Uh, and we really made some great friends and really taught us tremendous values. Living in the Cooper Projects is, is a little unique because your backyard is 500 other kids' backyard and you don't have some of the essentials that, say, everybody else has. So family was extremely important because that's what we had. And, and you grow up, you know, really uh, appreciating people because you, you, nobody had anything better than anyone else because you lived in the project. But it was very competitive. It was very competitive in that environment. Growing up, you know, you, you, you had to, you had to, you know, fight and claw, and you know, you have had six brothers. <laughs> Just in our house to get to the dinner table, we had to, you know, we had to box each other out. The common language was sports for a lot of kids that grow up in the inner city, and when you start to do that well. And the guard, Jim Barron, a hard-nosed defensive basketball player wearing number 12 for the Bonnies, and Glenn You gain Hayden. identity and you gain tremendous self-esteem to elevate you within the framework of that environment. And that's what I did with basketball. <laughs> this dude right here is a legend out here. Yeah. This is his building and stuff, man. Yeah. I think he's probably the best shooter the project ever had like that. Uh, but somebody said that his brothers was better than yeah. him. Yeah. 